Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide reel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to test a flame rollout switch. Flame rollout switches are located somewhere in the vicinity of the burners. This furnace, believe it or not, only has one. Normally, you will find two to three. There'll be one on this side, one on the front, possibly one up in here. Um, the, this flame rollout switch is a, a little different than most of them but anytime you see anything that's this located very close to the, your, your burner assembly that's going to be your flame rollout to test this we take our tester we set it on continuity we unplug one wire doesn't matter which one first thing we do is make sure that our tester functions properly. Once we know that that's the case, we put one on one wire, one terminal, one on the other terminal. That's all there is to testing a flame rollout switch. If we didn't have the beep, that would indicate we did not have continuity. Uh, some of these flame rollout switches have a reset button on the back right here. Others are one-time use. When they uh, exceed their set limit, they burn up and you have to replace them. This concludes our tutorial for testing a flame rollout switch, but please stay tuned while I introduce the super cool slide rule. It is the coolest tool in air conditioning, guaranteed to save you a lot of money by saving you a lot of time. Thanks for watching. I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheater subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas, it has capacitors, rules, and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for ductwork, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. The SuperCool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.